All right, guys, it is officially feng shui time. I am starting with the helpful people in travel. And as y'all know, that's one of my goals. Is so this area is going to be big for me. For those of you just catching on, I am doing the Bagua map of my house. And we are starting here in the helpful people in travel. And one of my goals is to uh, travel more and get out. Let's see what I need to change in my, this room, this gua as it's called, to enhance it, to balance it, to make it better. I've done a quick overview of what this space needs. This is what I do on feng shui consultations all the time. I'm just doing it for my house now. One of my goals is traveling, adventuring, and this is the gua to do that. Um, a gua is part of the areas. There's nine guas or areas of the gua gua. Okay, let me start. So the goal here is traveling, adventuring in this area. That's one of my goals. Um, everyone wants to feel safe, protected, comfortable. Um, it goes back to our psyche as human beings. So that's why I like to have fun with this because I like all those things so much um, and I like other people to feel that way too when they walk in. So number one, travel and be enhancing this area. Um, the mood when I walk in right now versus how I want it to feel, it's already feels very tranquil and very comfortable in this room. It's right by the front door. This is the most lit room in the whole house. There's lots of windows. Um, lots of sunshine in Colorado, so I love being in this room. This is where all the animals come and hang out. So that's kind of an indication that this room has a really good vibe already. The Bagua doesn't really cover this whole room. It's just partial, so I'll be getting to the next Gua next, and that's the rest of the room. So really, it's just this sofa and big window portion. So one thing I... I do is look through the, the feng shui stuff, but I also look at like the little things that I would fix as an interior design perspective. Um, I want to add a pad under this rug and I'll show you. Um, first, it's cozier, it's plushier, but also my dog, when she comes in here, she just kind of slides on it. <laughs> it's really annoying. So that would stop that. Um, I need to add artwork behind the sofa, I, so I need to create some new stuff or find something that I like. I will turn this to show you. Another thing I need to fix is my freaking drapery, because when I had a foster kitten, it liked to poop on the bottom, and I had to take it down, and it all fell apart. So I will be finishing that soon. I bought screws today, and they have to buy concrete screws to go through the brick on the outside because this house is a hundred years old and literally the plaster that they put in is the original and you touch it and it's like sand it just falls apart. So I'll be finishing that soon. So those are kind of my things that I walk in and adjust immediately as an interior designer. Um, so the feng shui portion is looking at the bagua and evaluating the gua in itself versus the room and what it has. One of the most generic things about feng shui is the five elements. And these five elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water. Yeah, there's five. And this gua particularly is metal already. So you combine the gua, metal, and whatever the room has in it, and it all needs to be very balanced. That's what makes you feel most comfortable. Materials are important, the five materials of feng shui, because each material is made from the earth. There's only five materials that the earth has, and that's what we're made of. So, so that's important to consider when you're being surrounded every single day in your home. Every single item in your house is made up of one of those things. So you have to really look at it as a whole. So that's what I'm gonna do right now. Already this room feels very balanced and that's probably why it feels so comfortable. The gua itself is metal. The rest of the room is wood, which the ground is completely wood. It's a wood floor, you can see right here. It's all wood paneling. So there's lots of wood in this room. The water, the glass is the same as water. So there's mirrors, big giant mirrors right here 
There's glass, tons of glass right here. There's mirrors right here and another one on this wall. Lots of, lots of water in this um, room. Fire, so fire is gonna be from the light fixtures. I have a light fixture here. The sunshine, lots of sunshine coming in, lots of fire from that. And then also all the um, sky elements, like natural sky, the, the light blue color, um, the, sun, the sun's color and the sunset's colors. I have all those colors in here. So that radiates fire as well. And also fire is pets, human beings, and plants. And I'll scroll over. I'll show you my big plant that I was telling y'all about earlier. Um, it's this pot with sunset colors on it. Um, I have plants here. I have even little birdies back here. <laughs> and I'll tell you all about those. Um, here's a sun symbol. So that's fire. More plants. Um, so lots of fire. So there's a lot of earth here too. I have baskets behind here, you can't see. There's woven baskets that represent earth. Um, this color of paint, which I absolutely would never pick, is an earth color. You'll see my bedroom when we do floor two, but it's this color is everywhere. And it kind of resembles a brown, a green, which is not the prettiest color, but when you're here, it feels very comfortable. So colors really define your feelings and how you feel in a room. If they're emotional, they create emotions. Color theory is fascinating. Um, so green represents growth, new beginnings, and inspires confidence. And then brown is stability and security. It's very earth, it's grounding. So I feel so good in this room. I wouldn't recommend this color, but I will share the color after I try to match it. Um, so that y'all can see what I'm talking about and possibly use it if you really need it. Um, again, it's not something I would choose, but it is cozy. Um, they probably mixed it with three different colors because it doesn't look like a, a color I've ever seen before, but I'll do my best to try to select it for y'all and show y'all. But I feel very comfortable here. Lots of this color is in this room, so I feel very grounded and that's earth. So when you combine metal, wood, water, fire, and earth, this room is very balanced. I don't really need to do anything to this room to activate any materials, which is good. Um, I just need to fix a lot of things. This gua area is the support area. It is, um, so it's great that it's kind of the family room, the living room. I can bring people in, helpful people, um, and just, sit and talk and communicate. This is a place where um, come you can come and enjoy and relax and sit. It's a very comfortable room for people to enjoy and be here. I am really sensitive to new places and new people and I always try to make my friends and family uh, very comfortable when they walk into my own space. This is the communication gua. It is a great place to sit and talk. Great rooms if you're building a house, if you wanna do feng shui with it, um, make this gua the family room, make this the office, make this the desk, make this the place where you can come together and um, really enjoy each other's presence and discussions. This is a great area for work from home area, the internet, um, child's homework, which is You'll notice when you start feng shui your, your home that things will happen. So just get ready for things to start moving around. And, um, and then last thing, I just wanted to jot this down for fun. Um, animals also represent things. So I have two cats and a dog. And cats mean luck. So if you want extra luck in your life, get a cat. Dog is loyalty, which is great. I want a horse soon, so I don't know when that's gonna happen, but they represent freedom. I love freedom. And then birds represent new beginnings and love. And that's also something on my goal list is new opportunities for travel and love. So maybe I did that subconsciously and put those birds up there. So anyway, that is this qua. Next qua, which is career and life path. So that'll be next. And because I've been talking about adventure and travel all day, it is gorgeous and I think I might go on a hike. So I'll see you on the next vlog.